everybody, James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we are going to be tying a gift that my sister gave me, uh, my wonderful sister Michelle. I have one brother, uh, Roger, and one sister Michelle. And uh, this is actually a gift that she got me um, that I haven't uh, had a chance to do a video of yet. So it's, uh, it's by Zinnia. It's a very pretty tie as far as just looks go. Uh, very uh, pastel, very springy. And we're almost to spring. I'm in West Virginia right now, and we've had a nasty winter. But spring is almost here, so I thought I'd do something a little springy. Uh, it has some blues and greens. It's a really nice, uh, like a li almost a, a lime green uh, to white uh, color with some uh, dark green and blue in it. And so when I'm picking this out today, when I'm wearing a brighter color tie, I can go a little bit darker with a shirt and with a suit. So I'm going to be pairing this with a charcoal gray suit and a darker blue shirt. Um, again, because the tie is so bright. Now typically when I'm wearing like charcoal gray or navy blue, I don't always go with a darker color shirt simply because it just has that really dark feel to it. If I do, I'll go with like a gold belt buckle instead of a gunmetal. Um, you know, something, something that just really like pops on it or something like that. But today, because we have a bright tie, we're going with a gunmetal belt buckle. It matches my cufflinks and uh, a brighter tie. So let's tie us up and see what it feels like. Um, as I do that, I'll do my normal review. Um, now this is obviously uh, a Mernigildo Zinnia. Um, anytime we're dealing with a Zinnia product, we know it's going to be a high quality. Uh, they just make, they're, they're just steady, I would say. You know, they're, they're, they're obviously an expensive luxury brand. But they're not the most expensive out there, like a Keton or, or a Cuccinelli or some of those guys. Um, they're not the cheapest out there. They're right kind of in the middle of the Italian luxury brands. But, man, their stuff is just solid. Um, so this tie is one of the thinner uh, Zinnia silk ties. Um, has a nice, soft feel to it. You can feel the, um, the colors in this are kind of embroidered. So you can actually feel those. So let's tie it up and see what it looks like. We're going to find our spot. This being a thinner silk, we're going to probably... Go somewhere in this range, I'm thinking. Um, now, obviously, to tie the tie, uh, if you've watched my videos, if not, this is your first one, we'll teach you. We take the long part of the tie over top of the short part, and we keep everything flat to make a nice knot. Then we go behind, under, and through. Now we come around behind, keeping everything flat, and then we come over the top, down, and through. Now, at this point, I call this the checkpoint. This is where we're going to make sure this knot is coming together, which it looks like it is. Um, we're going to come out over the front, keeping everything flat, create this little pocket here. And then we'll come behind and through. And now we're going to go down through that pocket we've created, hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie through. And now we hold the top of the knot, and we pull on the tie to adjust it. And I think we may be, I don't know, maybe a little bit short on this one. We're going to find out here in just a second. Let's, uh, now, this is creating a little dimple for us automatically. Um, I know some guys really like a dimple in their tie. Uh, I, I don't have a preference on it. Um, yeah, this is working. It's just below the top of the belt buckle. Your tie, the tip of your tie should always come between the top and the bottom of your belt buckle. Um, on the long side, it can be a little bit below the belt buckle, but you don't want to hang in too, too low. So we've got us a nice triangle going on here. Let's tighten this up a little bit. And we're going to take the, the back, we'll put it through the little strap that's uh, sewn into the back of the tie. Now we've got us a very nicely tied tie. Let's put the jacket on, see what this looks like. And then we'll go over the look. Should be scrolled on the bottom of your screen. Now this shirt has cufflinks, so I always take and adjust my cufflinks uh, so that they, they don't get bunched up inside the suit. And they look a little bit better hanging out. Okay, now you notice dark suit, dark shirt, but bright tie. So for this look, we have um, a, an Emerging Gildo Zinnia suit. We have a Brooks Brother, uh, it's a charcoal gray suit, I say. Uh, so a Zinnia charcoal gray suit, a Brooks Brothers dark blue shirt. This is a Zinnia tie, so the tie and suit both are Zinnia. The cuff links are Salvatore Ferragamo, the belt is Salvatore Ferragamo. And today I'm actually pairing it with a fun pair of Salvatore Ferragamo shoes that have um, the buckle on the top of them. Uh, a little bit more casual than dress. Uh, I mean, they're still dress shoes, but a little more casual to come off some shoes. They have the little buckle on top. So a little bit more of a loafer or a driver shoe because it has a lot of flexibility. But I thought today, since we're going with a little bit of a fun tie, we we'll go with a little bit more of just a comfortable shoe. These are very comfortable. They're not rigid dress shoes. And you can get by with that look because it just brings it all together. So we got black belt, black shoes, uh, gray suit, blue shirt, light, uh, light green, like a, almost a lime green tie, and now I'm ready for work.